everyone, my name is Chris. Today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is Waters Part and the Waters Fall Reaching the Promised Land. Let's read. Moses sent twelve spies into the promised land. Ten of the spies said, We will never defeat the people there. But Joshua and Gallup said, With God's help, we can do it. So look, God, they are they're free now of Egypt. And many times passed, only... Not that much. Gala and Joshua and other ten spies went to the promised land. But like everyone was saying that we can't like defeat them. They're looking so strong. Like we will never defeat them. But only Joshua and Gallup said We can uh, defeat them with only by us, but with God's help, we can do it. <laughs> so, like the people. Believe the ten spies. The people were frightened and believed the ten spies. So God said, Only your children with Joshua and Gallup will enter the promised land. After forty years in the desert, it was the time. So God said, They were like, Believe the ten spies. So, like God said, you, your children, will go into the promised land. Only your children, with Caleb and Joshua. Also, Moses didn't go. They will enter the promised land. Question, did Joshua and Gallup believe God would help the Israel enter the promised land? Yes. I think that's the promised land. <coughs> Joshua sent two, uh, two spies into Jericho. They met a woman called Rahab, uh, Rahab, who hide them and help them to escape down the wall. They promised to share her and her family. Hmm? Oh. A woman named. Rahab, like, heard about the Israel God, our God, so, like, she thought, like, they will come, so, like, the woman, Rahab, saved them, helped them to escape. And like they promised to spare her and his family. Her family.
The Israelites crossed the Jordan River. The priest went first, carrying the Ark of the Co Coven. When their feet touched the river, it stopped flowing. Everyone crossed on dry land. So, like the Israelites crossed the Jordan River. Like, do you remember the waterfall? The water wall. Like, the water spread into half. Like, also this time, uh, Israelites crossed the Jordan River and went. The priest, sorry, priest came first. The river stopped flowing, and like everyone could go on a dry land. Jericho was next. The Lord told Joshua, march once around Jericho every day for six days. Then on seventh day, march around seven times. Blow trumpets, shout! The walls will fall down. So Jericho was next. They have gone to Jericho and like didn't fight. God said like, march over the day. Jericho every day once and on the seventh day they should march around seven times and they should blow trumpets then God said like the wall will fall down What were the priests carrying across the Jordan River when God stopped the water from flowing? Number one, tent. Number two, the bag. Number three, the ark. Number three was the correct answer. Joshua trust God. He did what God said and the walls fell down. They took the city, Rab was spared. God's people began to take the promised land. So Joshua trusted God, so Joshua obeyed the Lord. And like when they were running seven times, the walls fell down. And Rad's family was spared. Because Joshua trusted and obeyed God, the walls of Jericho fell down. True. Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy the next time I will read another good story? Then let's see you next time. Bye.